In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your crinoline scraps to create different centerpieces for the center of your headpiece. So with this, you're going to need your scissors, a needle and thread, and some crinoline. So you're going to put your double knot into your thread, and you're going to cut your crinoline to size. So I've just folded my crinoline over to the length of how long I'd like my bow to be. So then I'm going to cut that, then double the length. So I've just folded it over here, and then I'm just going to cut down to create a raw edge. gather the raw edge of one of the sides of the crinoline. I'm just going to gather it all in and then using my needle and thread I'm going to bring my needle and thread through and wrap it around several times. Exactly how I did in my other video when starting to make the crinoline rose. Basically when using crinoline this is exactly the starting process to make sure it doesn't fray or split when working with it. It just secures a bit better for you. I'm just going to cut off any little excess bits of crinoline. Just trim it right down to the thread. So here I'm just playing with the crinoline to kind of gauge how big I want my bow to be. So I'm just bringing one side of it over and then I'm going to gather where I want the center of the bow to be. And I'm just slipping the stitch side of the crinoline in and then I'm going to wrap my needle thread around several times and then bring my needle in through just to secure the actual crinoline. So you've, you've secured one side of your bow when doing this. So here you can see I'm just bringing over the other side of the crinoline. Now what I'm doing is I'm leaving this some ex excess because I'm just making sure that both bows are going to be the same length. So I just fold it over to make sure and then once I know I have the same length on either side, you can measure it if you want, but again you can just freehand it and guess. I'm going to wrap my needle and thread around again and then bring my needle in through to secure it. just got another needle and thread ready and I'm just securing it a bit more. Now <clears throat> I'm watching this video adding a voiceover and the quality is fairly shocking of how the camera's placed. I'm gonna have to get better at this if I want to keep doing this. So anyway back to it. What I'm doing here is I'm just cutting off any of the excess bits of crinoline that were left underneath and both sides just tidying it up making sure it's nice and neat. So there's the bow. Now you can play with your crinoline all the time. It's really flexible. So you can see here now I'm just literally flipping it inside out and folding it over so that you're, if you don't want your bow to be as big, you can just bend it in like so. See, it's very bouncy as you can see. It's quite versatile, but it also flips and jumps quite easily. So you can see I'm just changing the shape of it. Like you can make several of these and stitch them all together and have them on the centerpiece of a headpiece or a fascinator. There's quite a few different things you can do just to create different center pieces or even use it as a full piece itself um, on your headpiece. I'm just bringing in the acrylic roses that I made in a previous video here. Just showing you how can you stitch these if you want to into the center of your bow or your loops sometimes as they're called just to kind of make more detail into the center of your headpiece.